Hello friends, I am Mayuri from VTeach Academy and today I am going to teach you about rank of a matrix. So before going to rank, let us discuss about sub matrix. For instance, let us consider a matrix A and the matrix obtained by deleting some rows or columns of a matrix is called sub matrix of a given matrix. For example, let us consider a sub matrix A1 which is obtained by deleting the first row which is denoted by R1 and its order is 2 by 3. And similarly, we can also get the another sub matrix which is denoted by A2 of order 2 by 2 which is obtained by deleting the first column represented by C1 and the first row which is represented by R1 over here. So the matrices A1 and A2 are called sub matrices of the given matrix A. And now coming forward to rank. So rank of a matrices are generally 3, 2 and 1 and 0 in case of null matrix. And their ranks are denoted by rank of a matrix A. So here 3 is the rank of a matrix A if and only if the matrix A is non-singular that is nothing but the determinant value of matrix A is not equal to 0. And then the rank of A is 2 if and only if A is a singular matrix that is nothing but determinant value of matrix A is equal to 0 and at least one of its 2 by 2 sub matrices is non-singular that is depth value is not equal to 0. And rank is 1 if every 2 by 2 sub matrix of a matrix A is a singular matrix. For instance, let us consider a matrix B and now let us find the determinant value of such 3 by 3 matrix which is the first element into the determinant of 2 by 2 matrix which is 0 minus 2 then here we get minus the second element 2 into the determinant value of 2 by 2 matrix which is minus 1 into 1 that is 1 minus 0 plus the next element 1 into the determinant value AD minus BC which is minus 1 into 1 that is minus 1 minus of 0. So that implies we get here 1 into minus 2 minus 2 into 1 plus 1 into minus 1. So that implies we get minus 2, minus 2 and then here we get minus 1. And by adding all the terms we get minus 5 and here minus 5 is not equal to 0. So here we can say that the matrix B is a non-singular matrix. So we can use this condition. So therefore the rank of matrix B will be equal to 3. And now let us proceed and discuss one more example for better understanding. So this is the matrix and now let us name this matrix as D. And now let us find the determinant of such matrix D. So in order to find there is a shortcut way which is as minus 1 lies in first row and the first column the cofactor of this element will be positive. So here we get plus sign and then the next element which is minus 2. And as it lies in first row and the second column the cofactor element will be negative. So here we get minus symbol and then again here we get plus. So using this concept we need to multiply the element with its cofactors. So here we get minus 1 into the determinant value of 2 by 2 matrix which would be AD that is 4 into 6 which is 24 minus BC which is 5 into 5 that is 25. And now coming to the next element as we have minus sign over here we get minus of the element minus 2 into the determinant value of 2 by 2 matrix which would be 3 into 6 which is 18 minus 4 into 5 which is 20. So here we are deleting the row and the column in which minus 2 is present and then we get plus sign and the element is minus 3 into by deleting the row and the column in which minus 3 is present we get a 2 by 2 matrix and its determinant would be 3 into 5 which is 15 minus of 4 into 4 which is 16 and here by performing all these operations we get minus 1 into minus 1 minus of minus 2 into minus 2 plus of minus 3 into minus 1 and then by multiplying we get 1 minus of 4 plus 
minus 3 into minus 1 which is 3. So here we get 0 as the determinant value of matrix D. So as the determinant value is 0, we can say that the matrix D is a singular matrix. And now we need to check out where the sub matrices. So now let us write a sub matrix which is denoted by D1. So by deleting first row and the last column, we get the matrix 3, 4, 4, 5. And now let us find the determinant of this matrix which is denoted by mod D1. And the determinant value is AD minus BC. So here we get 15 minus 16. So that implies we get minus 1. And minus 1 is not equal to 0. So hence we can see that the sub matrix is a non-singular matrix. So the rank will be 2. And therefore it is denoted by rank D is equal to 2. And make a note that if sub matrix is a singular matrix then the rank would be 1. And the rank of null matrix is defined as 0. So this was a basic introduction on rank of a matrix. For more videos, visit our website, VDH Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.